Hey guys, this is Kishore and you're watching Kishore Vlogs. This video is specifically for people who are going to come to work in a Maldives resort. So if you're not interested in this, you can skip this video or you should share it with people who may be coming to work to Maldives in a resort, specifically in a resort because working in a resort in Maldives is very different from a normal job. So I want to explain the situation, how it is and I have seen many resorts. I have worked with uh, many people working in resorts. I have been to many resorts. I have stayed in uh, even in staff area also. So I have some great information for you guys. So watch this video till the end. I am going to my office. I will complete this video before the end of this day and publish it. Uh, so I am getting late. I will go to office and come back and complete this. morning and when I went it was like bright sunny and uh, now it's pouring cats and dogs. Okay, I'll just uh, freshen up and uh, I'll start the video. Okay, talking about uh, working in a resort in Maldives, let me first explain you how is a resort in Maldives. Speciality of resorts in Maldives is every resort is a private island. There are about 200 resorts in Maldives and most of the resorts are like this. Uh, only the employees and the guests stays in the resort. There are no inhabitants or locals staying in the resort. That's one very important thing which you need to understand. So there is a specific designated staff area where the staff accommodation, recreation, canteen, all those things are provided and uh, the guest area only the people who, who are on duty or working people would be in the guest area in the designated department where they work. So when you are working in a resort, what are the, I would like, I'll do one thing. I'll uh, divide it into two things like advantages or pros and cons of working in a resort. Uh, we'll talk about the pros first. Okay. See working in a resort, if you are working for a good brand. Uh, let me tell you one more thing before I continue this. See, what whatever I am talking is in general. It's not specific or it should, it may be different in different resorts. So, I, uh, whatever I am explaining is from the experience which I have seen, I have visited many resorts, I have many friends working in many resorts. So, I have a general idea. So, that's what I am telling in this resort. So, uh, it may not be 100% true in every resort. For example, a low-end resort where the salaries would be less, the facilities would be less. Uh, they may be providing say three or four people in one room and there may be resorts where they give individual rooms for every person, employee. So those difference would be there. It would be depending upon your position, your uh, uh, brand or the type of resort you are working for. So it would be very different in different cases. So please keep that in mind. So advantages, first thing is um, pay is better, uh, Maldives compared to even uh, Dubai, Singapore, I understand the, the hotel industry pays really good, so that's one thing. You get a chance to meet great people, celebrities um, come to Maldives, Maldives is one of the most costliest destination and it's a great experience. The resorts in Maldives are really great experience, it's unique. So money wise you can save money, you can make and one more thing is see there is nothing much you can do with money in the resort. Your food is provided by the resort, your dress would be provided by the resort, your accommodation is provided by the resort. There would be a small talk shop where if you are a smoker you can buy some cigarettes or some biscuits or some small snacks which you need to spend money. So 95% of your income you can save. That's the biggest advantage of working in a resort because if you are working in a, in the capital Malay, the cost or the daily expenses are very high. So here you can save money and uh, working with big brands will help you in career growth also. So that's what I see the advantages. 
disadvantages first thing is you are in a private island so you won't be seeing new people or locals or you don't you can not go to a cafe and have a smoke and have a coffee or tea the food whatever is served in the restaurant is something what you have to have so you may get bored of that's very very common thing which i have heard from people working in the resort it's too boring to work in a resort and um, sometimes it's tough you have to work long hours because during peak season the guests may be more and the class of guests coming to these resorts are very high so the expectations are very high you cannot afford to make mistakes uh, those are the things which you need to know these resorts would be uh, far away from the airport far away from the capital male for example you need to do some banking you need to come to male so the facilities what every resort gives to their staff to come to male or the capital uh, during weekends depends upon your resort uh, it may be not same in all the resorts so there would there are some issues like that then uh, yeah if you have a health problem you will have a small clinic in your resort but if it's a serious thing you may have to come to the capital where the healthcare facilities are there to understand how a resort looks in maldives please check my travel videos i'll put it a link in the description where you can uh, see one of the resorts which i have visited uh, that would give you a better idea so if you have got a job in a resort in maldives congratulations uh, it's a great place to work at least come here experience it and if you really love it continue see i'll tell you i know people working in resorts for more than 10 years 15 years 20 years also they save good money they are happy working but there are people like they just stay back for only one or two years move to the next resort or move to a different country so it depends upon person to person um, maldives is a nice place to work especially the hotel industry uh, hope this information is informative if you have not subscribed to my channel consider subscribing i make such kind of dirty videos uh, not informative videos right maybe some it's boring for people who are not interested in the topic so if uh, you are watching something which is not interesting i am sorry if you are not, if you come across my videos and if you don't find interesting um, you should skip it right okay so i am feeling hungry my goodness so i am feeling hungry i'll have my lunch bye for now take care